Alright, so I just figured out that there's uh, rewards for ranked. Uh, ranked ends in three days. I was gonna hold off until a new rank, but I uh, said, so, well, let's go ahead and you know, get some kind of reward uh, in a couple of days, even if it's the lowest reward possible. I uh, pulled up my recorder right after I pulled it up, and hopefully this thing's working. I think it's working. And we'll see how I do in my first ranked shot with a pretty limited collection. I should be playing against someone who sucks, uh, or someone, well, I mean, they've got, uh, they've got some custom backs, so maybe not. Uh, I don't want to toss anything at this guy. Can't cast anything there, so uh, I'm just going to give him my whopping one point hit. Call it good. So, you got some low cost control spells. Put your upkeep, look at the top of your library, put it in your graveyard. Seven or more in graveyard, you can transform. Search for us. I don't know what transforming it is, but apparently you can transform it. Oh, legendary. Um, yeah, not doing anything in response. I'll check that out here in a second and see what that does. My turn. Alright, so I think I want Spell Forger. Spell Gorger. Weird out there. I haven't played Magic up until just this uh, free to play game. I haven't played in many years, so I'm completely unfamiliar with the cards. Uh, I am very familiar with structure and phases and the like. Um, I say that as I cast a creature before I attack. <laughs> Seem familiar enough to know that, uh, that it's better to do it the other way around. Um, and what does this thing turn into? Add a blue with the top four. Alright, it's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look like it's game breaking. It's a set that I'm nowhere... These are old sets, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the only sets that matter are M20 and Ravnica, well, the, the new Ravnica. Um, I think one of the last sets that I actually collected was the old Ravnica. Uh, oh, well, I'm a little screwed for mana here, aren't I? Um, killed my awesome bird. Um, all right. Well, let's attack again, and then we'll go right, uh, we'll go aggro on him. Rakdos, roust about. Still in trouble with land. Attacks. Uh, that should resolve. Uh, it's this guy gets a bit bigger if I just you know pump three spells into him and one attack, or I can get my three two out there. I think I want to get him out there for next turn. My opponent should start doing shit soon. Um, you know, got a handful of cards. Obviously, they have something instant speed held up by this. Um, it is a bit of a tell that I found that the arena has that you know that someone has an instant. It doesn't tell you anything about what kind of instant it is. Um, but they can always respond, even if it's a horrible response or completely useless response type of a situation. If there's an instant, it gives me, you know, I always have to pay attention 
if I have an instant in my hand that I'm keeping for a completely different type of situation than coming up. Uh, all right, patience here. Uh, all right, let's get our attack in. And as I say, they still have another instant in their hand. And uh, you know, as I go from phase to phase, it's giving them a chance to respond. They have to pass each time. Um, you know, even if they don't really give a shit about what's happening right this moment with whatever instance they have. Uh, a counter target spell. Resolve. And I'm gonna shock her. Cause fuck your 3 2. And. Send a beat out here. And now, I think they're in trouble. I don't know. You know, this thing might come. I mean, I don't think this thing's gonna matter. It doesn't turn into a creature or anything aggro. It's uh, it's neat once they get some cards in their graveyard. Oh, it's not gonna take much to get it in their graveyard now, anyway. There we go. Now, now things should transform, right? Oh, so at the beginning of their upkeep, it's gonna transform. All right, so it's my turn. I don't have much going on here. Um, forecast is target opponent and they discard two cards. Well, that'll piss them the fuck off. And they get this out there. Um, it's a sorcery. Uh, yeah, let's, let's cast that sorcery before we attack. Seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform. Okay, well, I guess I like looking at the top deck card of their deck and seeing if it's useful or not, rather than transforming it into the. Oh! Alright, then they can. So, they got the option first, that makes sense. It's exactly how the card reads, so it worked the way that it should work. Because I got a fucking instant in my hand. That's why I get to pass. Um, oh, uh, she makes me bigger. So, um, shit. I should have played her before I attacked. Oh well. Probably game anyway. I mean, counter spell stops me. Oh, well, go. That would have been game if I had played it right. Ah, I'm an idiot. And I played her. Whenever she dies, she does more damage to any target. I mean, that's, that's a game winner. This, I mean, this guy dying is also a game winner, so I guess I really just went however the fuck I want to win, right? Yeah. So, this guy's obviously been playing longer than me, at least in Arena. 
uh, probably hasn't been playing longer than me in real life. Uh, you know, I quit playing a long time ago, but I've probably still got more years of the game under my belt than the average uh, player today. I started playing back in Revised, um, back when uh, it was still possible to get uh, an Alpha or a Beta card. Uh, well, not really the Alpha, but Beta was easier to get than Alpha was, um, even though Beta's worth more, at least was worth more last time I checked. Uh, Alright, cool, so we're trying to ramp up our blue. I need to go to bed. Uh, it's, uh, it's 1 a.m. here, and I got things to do with my family tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, you know, I only did this uh, real quick last minute. As, a, as an impulse thing, as I was, last thing I was doing here uh, was getting all of these out by fighting the bot. Um, so I had these two in white, and I forgot how I got white. I was like, well, how do I get it? And, and of course, if for some reason, I had that Freudian response and played white again, which did no good for me. So I played blue, and then I played green. Um, so I had a mastery, and I was like, well, I don't want to put mastery in white. I'm going to put mastery in blue um, so I can uh, get this a House of the Mirrors thing because, uh, uh, you know, I've already got the red-black. Uh, uh, aggro control is kind of my thing, you know. Uh, yeah, so it's, I'm getting black-blues. So that's con As far as I'm concerned, it's control-control. Uh, <laughs> Red is my uh, is my aggro color. Uh, red or green are tend to be my aggro control colors. Um, you know, uh, blue is my control. White can be control. Black can be control. White we need. Um, but yeah, that's how I take it. Uh, so I'm currently working on getting my blue up and uh, and getting this deck so I have more access to some more cards um, and. Uh, and I'll probably remake my decks right now, but as of right now, you just saw me play my black red. Uh, I had made a black red uh, before I uh, I had this deck, um, and I was just working my way through red and black to get some a couple other additions. Uh, it made sense for me to start with red since I opened up a Chandra. All right, this video is probably getting a bit long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Uh, thanks for watching.